Hey, Cal Forever here. I'm like getting a download, an activation, and like a activation and a clearing right now. So I feel like I should probably still be laying with it, but I'm like kind of excited to like share. Wow, man, I'm connected with my twin flame and I'm like pretty much channeling or speaking how she's feeling. And so don't mind me, like the message I'm trying to relay. <laughs> wow, she's excited. Wow. So energy update. Um, so people have it wrong because they don't, I guess they don't do the research. They're not always scientifically minded. And it's like people, um, they start going through an awakening. They find cool information. And then they start relaying it to their spiritual awakening. And, you know, people, what they do is they become like YouTube gurus. But they're still going through an awakening. Which is good that they're doing that. But you have to discern some of the information. So a lot of people are talking about, oh, a coronal mass ejection, a CME, a solar flare, the solar wind stream. Oh, we're going to, this is a portal. We're going to be getting hit by energy, this and that. But here's the truth. When the solar wind is strong, it deflects in, in coronal mass ejections and things like that. Those actually give us some rest when it comes to the energy um, and a lot of the symptoms and side effects. Like the more technical term is space weather health risk. And where those mainly come from are from cosmic rays. So when the solar wind stream goes down, when there's less solar activity... It makes us more vulnerable, our, our planet, to energies from outside of our solar system, such as cosmic rays. So now that the solar wind stream is going down, now we're feeling more of the cosmic rays, which they did like, there's this theory that I think it's called like genetic or DNA inversion or something like that. I need to do a video later on about this and kind of gain more information and, and but essentially they believe that cosmic rays do mutate our DNA where it splices our DNA and rearranges it and there's certain symptoms and side effects from this and it aggravates mental illness and it aggravates cardiac issues so I wish I had a link for this, but I guess maybe we'll put a link if I can find. I'm sure if you Googled like space weather health risk and like symptoms and side effects, you could find information about that. But I guess you could call it ascension symptoms. But essentially, the energy, people kind of have it wrong. The energy comes in the strongest and it affects us the most when there's less solar activity. So just because people are talking about, oh, there's a lot of solar activity, it's like, whoa, that might be more of a time to feel better, you know? And sure, we do feel the energy from the sun, but it seems to have less of the undesirable um, side effects and symptoms than the cosmic rays. So that's kind of just my excited uh, realization that I had or understanding through good scientific information. And I have had this information for a while, but for some reason it just kind of clicked in and fully integrated. And also another thing is we've been protected by a cosmic cloud like our solar system has been. We've been moving through cosmic clouds, which have been protecting us from cosmic rays. But now we're entering a void space. And the more that we go into grand solar minimum, the more cosmic rays will affect us. 
So if you want to talk about people going through ascension symptoms and these changes and mutations or whatever it is, grand solar minimum that we're still moving into, I believe we're still moving into it, is really the time for a lot of people to start waking up and being aggravated and having these weird experiences. Just like the energy is like weird. And it's painful, like an energetic pain, because it like it does something to our DNA, and I think it clears out ancestral stuff. But when you go through these symptoms, when you go through these shifts, and, and all this stuff's coming up, you don't let your mind attach to it. You just love and nurture yourself, go for a walk, you breathe through it slowly, and you do the best you can to ground yourself. Because I understand, like, it might be very easy for some people to lose their mind. Because it's, I'm, I'm, this is tough for me. And I'm, and I've gone through a lot of tough energy. But anyways, Cal Forever here. I hope that this helps, helps you gain some understanding and helps you feel more grounded and safe and, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell. Like, it's hard for me to speak because of this connection with this person. Uh. So, I wanted to make this an energy update. But if you watch any of my other videos, a lot of times I talk about just my merging process with my twin flame. And that's, you know, part of my life mission is to have this divine partnership in... You know, so I guess, you know, this is a raw energy update for twin flames that are about to come into union. And I very much feel like I'm one of them. For the year of 2019. So, yeah, energy update. Cosmic rays affect us more when there's grand solar, when there's less solar activity that's when more of the upgrades and energies are going to happen. And for year 2019, there's going to be some twin flames coming together that are going to an announce their union. And I am one of those couples. I feel like I'm channeling that for my twin flame. God, before I wanted to, before I was just like, oh, but I could be wrong, but I am not wrong. I am, this is so like in my face, this, this telepathy and energy and, and chakra merging and empathing. And, and so if you're experiencing this, you're not alone. You know, the energies for twin flames that are being called into service are, are ramping up to accelerate union because we need to be here for people that are going to start popping like popcorn and having you know that people that are needing help through these ascension symptoms because ascension symptoms suck they're scary you know they're weird and they're uncomfortable they're painful and you know i feel like that's my divine mission and this might be far off in the future, but to be of, but to create a healing crisis center that's self-sufficient, that can help people that are in panic, and that's kind of how the energy seems to be a lot of times for me, and it's like it's just like this feeling of panic, and like panic attack and anxiety and like death, and that maybe you know my twin flame did pull that card for her reading for the year of 2019 she pulled the death card and it's like this death of all these old habits of all these you know in her in particular she had this very strong she's very strongly was holding on that she was going to be this person but life changed and now it's like a death of of that five-year plan that she had for herself so it's like there's this resolution and death occurring this did not turn out to be anything I wanted. I just wanted a simple, energetic, like, like energetic update about cosmic rays 
being the big boss. <laughs> the big boss that's going to trip you out energetically. It's not the solar flares and CMEs. It's the cosmic rays, baby. Cosmic rays. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna mutate your DNA. And the and there's scientists that do have theories about this. And what's so crazy about this is every time that the Earth goes through some sort of pole shift, there are extinctions and there are rapid evolutions overnight. And scientists believe that it's all this cosmic energy coming in that changes our DNA and mutates us at a very rapid rate. And I'm not just talking about humans. I'm talking about animals. And there's a lot of times a lot of Earth changes that do, do occur. And they're not always, like sometimes they're worse than others, but no fear. We do not have to be afraid. If you're watching this, you've been chosen to go through this shift. And so you're going to survive it. And so just take care of yourself through the uncomfortableness. It's just uncomfortable being on earth right now. With all this energy. I mean, you could say, oh, because of the politics and, and wars and things like that and, and famine and unhealthiness from eating too much food, like, you could say that makes the earth, makes it very uncomfortable for being on earth right now. But really, what's going to make things uncomfortable is this energy coming in. And if you don't work with it and ground yourself and heal yourself, the energy is just going to do it for you and going to make, make you have to just sit still and process and, and release energy. And also, and this will help relieve some fear, there are people from other planets, Syrians, ETs, whatever you want to call them, and they are helping to keep the energies coming into Earth balanced. So they're, they're trying to keep... They're working to keep the energies in check so that they don't overwhelm us. So we are so protected, we are so loved, we are so guided, and everything's perfect. Everything will be okay. So, and I'm saying that for people that are having a tough time with energy in in, in the cosmic rays. So, da 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 da. To get back to the twin flames, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, for me, I think that I got guidance. I not always understanding or or I'm not always understanding the intuitive messages that I get but for me I was told May yesterday I think and so that is actually really what I'm hoping for and yeah yeah So it's pretty much just, just when it comes to the energy with Twin Flames, is it's all about clearing. It's all about integrating and merging the energies, getting to know each other on a soul level. And then there's that recognition when you meet and come into union physically. Um, so it's all about clearing <coughs> and all about activations and... For me, I'm learning a lot of ba I'm lear I'm creating boundaries. Like I'm changing at a very rapid rate, and I'm in my Saturn return. Like I cannot believe how fast I'm changing. My roommate's the same way, and last night he was just like, "Whoa, the energy's weird." And then he had to lay down, and it's like, "Oh, it's like feels like you're dying. It sucks. It's scary." But. You know, we're not given what we can't handle. And I really think if the energy got too strong, it would probably make you pass out. I don't know. Look how forever here. Energy update. Peace.